Hello everybody, it is I, VibeCat, and I am here with a tutorial on Clipnote Studio. Let's get right into it. This button right here is the drawing button, of course, so you can draw and animate your clip notes. This is your clip note viewer, and this is where you can connect to any kind of clip note servers. Currently, this one is not working for me at the moment, although this is where you go to post your clip notes. Let's start getting into the basics, the drawing. First, you click on this. Tab is your menu button, so pressing tab will bring you to a menu or get rid of your menu. These are all something I'll get into later. First, we must say and show how these brushes work. Basically, they just work as normal flip note brushes. They will work in eraser mode too. Pressing W and S make your brush bigger and smaller depending on, well, how you want it. And this, these buttons over here will make your brush bigger and smaller as well. Let's quickly go to another page, which you can easily do by pressing Wait, you can go to different pages by pressing A and D. And you can create more pages using those too. There is an eraser mode, as I kind of said, which will erase whatever pattern you have on. These are the colors, which will, will draw in colors, as of course. This is the, I'm not sure, <laughs> oh. These buttons show what brush you want, if you want it circle or square, this is the line tool, circle tool, square tool, and text tool. Hello. That is impossible to read, but that's okay. Onion skin mode will show previous and next frames as you probably know. You can change how many frames you see by changing the values of previous and next. Usually I keep it as previous one, next one. And the frame rate down here will show the speed of your animation. So pressing sp Oh. I don't know how many to do that. But that's okay. Pressing space will play your animation for you, so I shall quickly make a short animation. Just a short animation that can easily be created. And you can make it faster or slower depending on how much you want the frame rate to be. You can make it faster and you can make it much, much slower. Although usually I keep it at either 10 or 12. The C button in your frames will copy, P button pastes, this trash can button will delete, and this I button will insert. The layers are very easy to use. This just moves it down, this copies, this pastes, this deletes. The I buttons will hide or show your layers. Sound button will import a uh, sound file, but it, however, it must be a .ogg sound file. And whenever you do, it will play music along with your flip note. Clip note, sorry. That's basically all about this. And we will go ahead and save our flip we'll go ahead and save our clip note 
and return back to the menu. This will show you the clip notes that you have created. These are the ones I have created. I've created quite a few, except for this one. I didn't make that. Or this one. You can actually download flip notes by using your import button, which will import a .clip file, or your download button, which, if it ever stops freezing, will download a clip file URL. This right over here will show you the last clip note you've created. So it'll bring me back to the quick blinking animation. These are your settings. This will show you whatever's going on here. Not really sure. This is your types of backgrounds. I like to keep mine at one. These are the volume button things. Overlay, not sure what that does. Not sure what this does. Cat will usually appear in the corner. You can turn it on or off. The theme is only really available for anyone who has bought a license, which I highly encourage you should, because I know I have, and it's a great feeling when you do. In fact, it's on sale for the time of this being posted. It's only $5, or at the time this was posted, two fifty, which is a pretty dang good deal. The change profile picture will open up a prompt for you to choose a PNG or a BMP, not really sure. Change name easily, as you can see here, changes your username. Apply, we'll just do everything. Here are the credits. Huge thanks to everyone in the Clip Notes Studio Discord server. I'm in there myself. <laughs> it's a great place, really. I don't know why I switched resolution there, but that's okay. You can just re-maximize it, or minimize it, or window it, everything. This is also enabled whenever you get to buy the license, which is cool. These, I'm not sure what they do. However, they'll be, be, they'll be able to do something in the near future, hopefully. A few tips and notes, there is no control Z in the current version and I highly recommend not to use any versions that do have it as they are unfinished and very buggy. A tip is you can blend colors very easily and the fact that the person who created this, Calcium, had added this tool right here. Makes it much fun, a lot of fun to mix colors and do easy things. Another tip is, like I said earlier, you can use this to erase. Which is pretty helpful if you want to erase in a pattern or make a fade effect. Another note is that there is no fill bucket, so it's really hard to fill in characters or shapes or really anything you're drawing. That's basically all for the Clip Notes Studio tutorial as of V1.1.2. I will be remaking this when a new version is out, and hopefully enough, you'll have fun with the download in the description. You can buy the license in the description. Everything that you need to know is in the description. Vibe Cat out.